and 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 I don't miss, bro. Shit. That shot fake slide not working on me, bro. bro like I'm shot fake slide though. <laughs> <laughs> it's going up, bro. Like and, and it was and, 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 Bro, it was to the point where when when I shot it, everybody just got back on D. <laughs> I know I ain't supposed to say this, but they could have locked us up for what we did to them boys that day. We oh, shouldn't, even, we, oh shouldn't even, we shouldn't even be on here talking right now. Not even a little bit. It's gone. Miles Trent becomes the 38th player in the history of Nikolai basketball to go over 1,000 career points. What's up, everybody? It's Miles Dredd, host of The Heat Check, presented by State Media. Super excited to have you guys on the show. We're going to have weekly episodes with former Penn State basketball players and other hoopers across the Big Ten. Check us out on Apple, Spotify, and YouTube. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We really appreciate you guys' support. Enjoy the show. College football tees, college basketball tees, whatever you need, Mercury has you covered with the best merch out there. We're talking about high quality clothing, inexpensive, and the best part is I have a 15% discount for everybody who goes and gets some right now. Use the code below, hit the link in the description, and go get your merch now. Use the code to get 15% off. What are you waiting on? Go do it. Welcome back to the newest episode of the Heat Check. It's your host, your boy, Miles Dredd, and I got a real special guest with us today. One of the main reasons why I went to Penn State in the first place, from him to, to his mom and dad showing a lot of love and, and making me feel loved and uh. appreciated from the get-go, man. We got Shep Gardner in the building. Right. What's up, my boy? What's, What's going on, my guy? Hey, man. it's everything's good. Everything is everything. <laughs> Thanks for having like, me. We, we we spent a lot of time this last summer about what about two weeks a week and a half. Hey, yeah, uh, yeah. Prepared yeah. for the CBT, and that might have been some of the best times. Just sitting back, remembering. That was fun, it. right? Oh man, yo! Like, I can't wait to that do made it. Me, that, that made me that made me like wish like dang, I wish we went to school together. <laughs> no, for real, bro. Because <laughs> two, two, two guns like that loaded up. I will tell you. In college? Ooh. Okay. I don't know, man. Okay. <laughs> we going to get to that. We going we going to get to that. We <laughs> so, going to get to that. We going to get to that. <laughs> we we going to get started that. off hot, bro. Like we going to get started off hot, bro. Like I'm not going to lie. A lot of people know you as the the best shooter to ever come through Penn State. Like you wear that with pride. I know you do. Like how does that feel For like sure. You, you working with younger guys now, like you not that far removed from the game. You feel me? Yeah. But you working with younger guys, and they like, oh, oh, yeah, like you can't, you can't guard me, coach, or you know what I'm saying? Like, how, right. how often you got to put it to them every once in a while, bro? <laughs> to to be to be frank with you, I practice every day this year. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, every day. When I say every day, I mean every day, bro. And I enjoyed it, bro. It like made me like, bro, it's fun. You know, we compete, bro. Like we compete at a high level when we out there. You know what I'm saying? So it was fun, man. Just teaching these guys how to compete at a high level, you know, showing them like what it takes, you know, on a day to day basis. Like, and I'm, you know, I, I I don't get paid to play no more. So this is all about the love. You know right. what I mean? I'm trying to play for the love, have some fun with the guys, teach them some things, you know, just show them the way a little bit. Okay. Okay. So I mentioned it a little bit. The TVT is coming up again. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I, I would be remiss if I didn't ask if I could be your associate head coach. Like I'm trying, I'm trying to find a way to get in, get on, you know what I mean? I, right. I, I, I look good in the polo, bro. I'm trying to tell you. Hey, like, we can listen. Some, we can make some shit shape. Listen, I, I, I talk to the higher ups and maybe we can make something happen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you got my vote. You got yeah. my vote. I'm just look. Talk, just give you me a vote. vote. You feel me? I'll even be. I, I'll even be the water guy. You feel me? Like I'll make some stuff happen on the sideline. 
But I, I, I got to I gotta see what you like on the bench, man. I got to see what my man comes whatever, to. Whatever, whatever you want to do, man. <laughs> whatever you want to do. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, but talking about the TDT last year, like, right. we didn't get the result we wanted, you know, but, like, yeah. damn, that was fun, man. Like, that might have been some of the most like, – yeah. just no – you're not worried about no coach talking to you. We had Ross. We had Ross Condon as our coach, bro. He was out there like, bro, go have fun. Like, play. And this isn't like – have fun. Coach, coach yeah. said, go play. No, nah, this is Ross, our guy. Like, no, nah, for real, like, go play. Like, really go have fun. Like, put on. Yeah. Yeah, we was out there right. doing stuff. Me and you, we, like, it was crazy. Like, having we, fun. Yeah, like, I was like, dude, I'm not playing no more. Shep not playing no more. And it's like, whatever. Like, yeah, yeah they can still, they, yeah. they remember, though. Like, don't get it twisted. Yeah, they definitely remember. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I yeah. think, truthfully, Jamari don't go down. I think we still, even though we didn't play our best game, I still think we at least win the first game, at least. Bro, we, we, we just needed to get through that game. That's it. Like, we just needed to get through that one game. Um, that was all of our first time playing together. Um, we had a huge run late. Started off slow. Uh, had a huge run late. And, um, you know, we just couldn't pull it out. But if we would have got through that game, um, I thought we had a we had a good enough squad. Um, we had the good enough chemistry uh, to be able to pull off of something special. But, um, you know, it wasn't in the cards for us. Jamari went down first two minutes of the game, and that hurt us. Um, Jamari kind of played that, uh, you know, that 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 kind of, like, leadership role where it was like, you know, he was one of the guys that was still playing. Um, he was in shape. You know, he was prepared to, um, you know, get paid. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it was like he, he, he um, was a big part of our team at that moment, and him going down, um, we weren't prepared for that, but um, I thought we put ourselves in position to win the game. We just didn't pull, pull through. Yeah, Sammy, Sammy, Sammy put the team on his back, though, didn't he? Yeah, he put he put the, he put the team on his back. That's what Sam. That's what Sam do. Like that's 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 Sam, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like that's. I mean, I didn't get a chance to play with Sam, but my pop coach Sam um, at AU and uh, for team final. So uh, I knew Sam growing up. I know he's a special talent. I know what he can do. Obviously, you know what he can do. You play with him. So um, that's what he do, man. He go on them big runs sometimes. And, you know, that kid is hard to stop. Well, that guy is hard to stop now. He's a grown man now. <laughs> and, and, and he got a nasty attitude, too. Like Nasty attitude. Like when, when, when better than nature. Or don't, don't think he's good enough. Like the way he just turns it on, man. Mm -hmm. Like. He just put scores in bunches. Like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it's it's amazing to watch for somebody mm -hmm. his size. He's not the greatest athlete, you know what I mean? But he yeah. just make it happen. Like, yeah, that's yeah. Uh, a lot of props to Sam. Sam, Sam is know? um. It's him on the show, bro. Sam, like, definitely, and he love it. He oversees, bro. He don't have nothing to do. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Miles Dredd. Are you one of those people who struggles to eat healthy every day? Especially for me, I'm on the go. I found something that's really helped me out. Factors delicious, ready-to-eat meals. Wherever tomorrow takes you, be ready with pre-prepared, chef-crafted, and dietitian approved meals right to your door. You'll have over 35 different options a week to choose from, including keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, and more. With over 55 nutrition-packed add-ons, it'll help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. Fuel up fast with Factors restaurant quality meals that are ready to heat and eat wherever you are. Snacks, smoothies, and more. Get as much or as little as you need by choosing 6 to 18 meals per week. Plus, you can pause or reschedule your deliveries at any time. No prep, no mess meals. Factor meals are 100% ready to heat and eat so there's no prepping, cooking, or cleanup needed. Head to factormeals.com slash heatcheck50 and use code heatcheck50 to get 50% off. That's code heatcheck50 at factor meals.com slash heat check 50 to get 50 percent off what you waiting on let's go sorry about the technical difficulties ladies and gentlemen my man <laughs> shep is in in the middle of nowhere florida <laughs> uh he had to change locations for it so that <laughs> our uh 
our recordings could look a little bit better, but it's okay. My apologies, y'all. Um, <laughs> so, 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 Shep, we we got to go a little bit back and forth, bro. Like, we both had our time in the Big Ten, and I truthfully believe that you had one of the better Big Ten, Penn State even, careers in terms of dealing with adversity, dealing with change, and coming into your own and yeah. owning a role. Like, a lot of people don't own a role the way that you did and ultimately helped your team become successful. Talk about that a little bit. Um, great question. When I, when I first went to uh, Penn State my first year, um, I knew I was going into a, a, a program that um, needed to be built. Uh, somebody had to come along and, you know, take it, take it somewhere. I thought it had a great foundation where, whereas though, you know, PC was coming from Villanova. He had that Jay Wright background. He had one at uh, Boston College. I mean, Boston University. He won at Boston University, won a championship there. One of my good friends, DJ Irving, uh, he recruited there as a, um, coming out of high school. He went to Archbishop Carroll. Now he coaches at Miami. Shout out DJ Irving. Um, I thought, you know, my, my parents really didn't want me to go far. Um, so I'm like, okay, I'll narrow my, I'll narrow my list down to four schools. Um, Penn state and Georgetown were the closest. It came down, um, to them, to them too. Um, I went with Penn state because I just felt like, uh, I it felt more at home. I connected with the coaching staff. Uh, connected with the players. The players was huge. Uh, DJ Newbill was there. Um, he was he from Philly. Flip, uh, John Johnson, Flip Johnson was there. Brandon Taylor was there. Um, Julian Moore was there. Uh, Donovan Jack was there. These are PA guys. BT from Jersey, but uh, these were guys I were pretty much familiar with. So uh, when I went up there on a visit, I just felt like I was home and I got to know, you know, the Geno Thorpes, um, the Peyton Banks, um, who else was up there? Uh, and, Ross, and Ross, Ross, Travis, Isaiah, Isaiah Washington. Isaiah came in with me though. I'm saying like, who was there Richard. before us? Okay. You know what I mean? Like who was who was already up there? Um, yeah. They had like a, a veteran group that was up there, and um, I just brought that young flavor, that young style, hungry. You know, coming from Chester, which which is you know. Uh, right outside of Philly is just a different brand of basketball um, built on toughness, built on pressure, you know, built on just being able to hoop. You know, it's a different style from Philly guys. So, you know, we we hold that, you know, close and dear to our hearts and we, you know, live by that. So when I went up there to Penn State, I was ready for, you know, that challenge. I wanted that challenge. I wanted I wanted all the smoke. You know what I mean? I thought the Big Ten, you know, every I heard what they were saying, the Big Ten this, the Big Ten that. And I saw the teams that was in the Big Ten. I'm like, all right, let's get it, you know. Yeah. And and four years later, I know I told PC um, when I committed, I'm like, yo, I'm going a, I'm to a lead this program way better than it is right now. And I was 18 years old at the time. And when I left college, <laughs> I mean, I would, I would, I mean, some would say Penn State had became a basketball school. You know what I mean? And we get the, and we get the, the Miles Dreads, who was, who was, who was Gatorade Player of the Year in, 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 um, in, um, DC, Baltimore area. You got the Seth Lundy's. You get the, you get the Razier Boltons. You get the Josh Reeves. You get the Joe Hamptons. You know what I mean? You get the Tone Cars. You get the Mars Stevens. Like, it became a place where people could say like, yo, I can go here and I can make something happen for myself. Like it's not over if I go right. to Penn state, you know what I mean? So it was like, kind of like when I saw everybody going there, I'm like, wow, like we did something. And then we, we was fortunate enough to win a championship too. Like that was like, that was the, that's the best team Penn state ever had. I know. I understand that, bro. I already know. That's why I said it. <laughs> Oh, okay. You know, I'm a... 
Let's rewind that one a little bit. <laughs> I feel like I played on two teams that was better than that. Yeah. That 2019-2020 team, we never got to see the end of that, so I give oh, y'all that. Okay, y'all didn't okay. get to see the postseason. Okay. But that that 2022-2023 team was a mob, boy. Woo. Um, we were small. I think that's probably the only argument you had. We were small. But y'all ain't have John. We had the we 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 didn't turn the ball over. Y'all y'all thrived on defense from turning people over. Yeah. And we were the number one three point shooting team in the country. Attempts, makes, and percentage. We were yeah, y'all 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 played a different brand <laughs> of basketball though. Y'all y'all played y'all run y'all was y'all was running gun. We could run and gun. That's what that was the thing about us. Like we however you wanted to play. We could play. Like if you wanna if you wanna bang, we can bang. We got big Mike down there. Let's bang. If you wanna run and gun, let's run. Me, Josh, Mar, T let's go. Jamari, let's go. Let's run. You know what I mean? If you wanna play half court basketball, come on, John. Let's lock up now. Let's rebound. Yeah. Let's lock up. Come on, man. We can play whatever you want. We ain't we not no one trick pony. Honestly. I think that matchup between TC and Pickett would have been monstrous. Nah, but but see, TC would have would have put Pickett on that island. We ain't had to go to the block. We ain't had to yeah. go to the block. We going to yeah, you get on that island. They, it wasn't pretty. Pickett's game was not pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't, he wasn't trying to like yeah. sauce you up. No, yeah. he he was. He didn't care who you was. He was going. Yeah. He said, Yo, "Come on, come down here, Grandpa." Bro, that was impressive, though, bro. Like, like, like yeah. me watching that, I'm like, yo, that was impressive because I'm like, yo, this guy, he backing him down from the three point line. <laughs> Never seen that before in my life. All right, shout, and, out, and shout out, shout out Jalen Pickett. And you couldn't double him because you had me, Seth, Funk, and Cam. And he was sitting making at the, the pass. Like this. He was making the pass, though. He was hitting yeah. him. Like, the moment you double, we used to, like, tell the defender, we'd be like, please, go double. Go double yeah. so I can shoot three. Go double, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, Y'all was tough. So, yeah. So, it's, it's different. Like, we would have just tried to find, we would have just tried to find mismatches. That's all and it I, was. And, 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 and I don't miss, bro. Shut up. That shot fake slide not working on me, bro. I like, ain't I'm, no shot fake slide, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's going up, bro. Like, and, and it was, like, and, 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 bro. It was to the point where, when, when I shot it, everybody just got back on D. <laughs> like it's good. Like everybody, you know, it was like that, bro. Okay, okay, okay. I give it to you. You know, you, 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 you got the record. So I, what, what I'm gonna say? You know what, what I mean? What I'm gonna say? What they say? What they say, Miles? What they say? Men lie. Men lie. Women lie. Numbers don't, baby. It's the truth. It's the truth. So, we talk about our teams and, and, you know, your best teams versus my best teams. Who was your favorite player to play with? Who was your favorite teammate? For whatever reason you want it to be, who was your favorite teammate at Penn State? Mm. That's a great question. Only one? Only one. Got look. I, I can't I can't skate you. You gotta you gotta give me one. Giving you two or three is too easy. Yeah, gotta, like one is tough. Yeah, bro. You gotta give me one. Alright. Um I mean, Tone. Tone? Yeah, Tone. Um, me and Tone, uh, we played high school together, but he was, like, fairly young. Like, he hadn't come into his own yet. So when mm-hmm. I played with Tone, he was a sophomore. Uh, that was his first year in the Catholic League. He was just, just starting to develop into something. So when I was in high school as a senior, like, you know, I'm the big dog. I'm You know, I'm kind of showing him the way. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. um, by the time... You know, he became a junior. When I went to college, he became a junior. He was ready. You know what I mean? Like, I hadn't seen that tune yet. He had grew a few inches. You know, he started to come into his own. And um, 
when he got to Penn State, um, it took a second um, for that synchronization to come back. Like, it took a second because it wasn't just us two anymore. You know what I mean? It was like, it's a whole team. It's a big, it's a higher level. It's a lot at stake. You know what I mean? So it's just like the pressures of putting it together and um, everybody, you know, when, when you bring in all of these guys with me and, you know, you ex- and Mike and Josh, you expected to win immediately for real, for real with that, with that kind of roster. So I think uh, it was a lot of pressure on them as freshmen. And, um, you know, everybody was kind of like trying to get used to that limelight, you know, that those expectations of having to win um, now. And um, but by that second year, it was it was it was on. The oven was already preheated and we was we was cooking. You know what I'm saying? Rotisserie chicken. Bro, it was on. And uh but but like that that um what we had put together, like that I wanna say it was like I mean people always say like that 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 NIT Big Ten tournament NIT stretch was like one of the best stretches, but that stretch that stretch started way before that. You know what I'm saying? And um we we just got to a to a level where me and him was just clicking, bro. Like, it was just like, you know how it is, bro. Like, you a shooter, bro. You know how it is when you and your point guard is just on the right page and it's nothing the other team can do. Y'all just hooping. And then you got Mar out there, which is like making everything so much easier because he dominating the paint. You know what I mean? So it's like, it was like a perfect storm. But TC was my favorite because we connected like, way more than we were when he was in high school. Now we live together. We spending a lot more time together. Like, you know, I'm getting to notice this guy on a whole different level. You know what I mean? So we really became brothers uh at Penn State and you know that bond is um probably even stronger today. Yeah. My favorite teammate that I played with it's between one or two people, but I, I I did it to you. I can only choose one. Right. Um, I'm going to have to go with Buck. I'm going to have to go with Seth. Yeah. Like, That's my guy. Yeah, bro. Like, so what people don't know, me and Seth, we got to the point where we was arguing like brothers. Yeah. Like, over dumb stuff, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, bro. Why are you sitting so close to me, bro? Like, go, go somewhere. <laughs> right, right, right. Like, little stuff like that. But, like, right. the way he approached the game and, and you know. That's another Roman guy, too, by the way. He's he just unconscious. Like, <laughs> the way he played, it's like, it got to a point where Shrews was like, you know what, dog? Don't, don't worry about passing. Yeah. Your job <laughs> Yeah. When you try to pass, that means you're being passive. And you don't look good doing that. Right. So you you put that thing in the air. Right. And we'll either we'll either rebound right. or we'll get back on defense. Right. And I was like, you know, sometimes I wish I wasn't so good at decision making so I right. could get a green light like that. Right. <laughs> like, damn, I thought that'd be pretty nice. Every time I touched it. That's the best bro. job, man. Like when when like when a coach tell you, like, yo, I don't want you to pass. You know, like when I first got to Penn State, bro, I was the point guard. So I had to make all the plays. You know, we we were, we were, we were BT Donovan, Jack Julian Moore, Jordan Dickerson. Like these guys are all 6'10", 6'11", 7'1", you know what I mean? We big, bro. No, like not too many guards. So I'm out there making every play down the floor. And then... When I when TC came in, now I turned into a combo. So it's like, and, and then PC came to me like, "Yo, I need you to sh- I need you to shoot. I need you to be the best shooter in the country. Can you do that?" I'm like, "Yeah, I can do that. Just score. Just go score. Score. Put the ball in the hole. That's it. You don't got pass. Let him pass. You score." I'm like, "Bet. You don't got to say it. You don't got to say it twice, <laughs> <laughs> bro. That's that's the thing. I remember. So I remember there was a point in time." Because you and I were different players. Mm-hmm. Similar jobs, but different mm-hmm. players. Mm-hmm. I remember you came up one time, and I, I think I was being passive. Mm-hmm. He, he was like, bro, 
you got you got to shoot that thing. Yeah, like, can't you can't not shoot it. Like Big Ten open is Big Ten open, bro. You got to let that thing go. Let go. And for the people who out there who don't know what Big Ten open means, there's very few and far times in the game where you get enough time to catch, right. twist the ball, right. check the temperature, and all that. <laughs> Big Ten open really means if if you can get it off, you open. Yeah, <laughs> if you a shooter, if, if you a shooter, scout, and you can get scout it off. Report say, don't let him shoot, and you and you feel like you can get it off. Well, you got to train to where it's though. You you only need this much space. Yep. So, yeah, you're right. Big Ten open is Big Ten open. Big Ten open is you gotta let it go because then <laughs> if you don't, you coming out. We should trademark that. <laughs> Big Ten Open? We yeah. should. We should trademark that. So now <laughs> can nobody say it but us. And if they do say it, we send them an invoice. <laughs> let's, let's, let's mark that one down. Hey, everybody, you heard it, you heard it here first. Yeah, this you heard it here first. Most of me. Yeah. If you open and you a shooter, let it fly. That might be a viral moment right there. Let's do it. Big Ten Open. I like that. That's why, that's why I had to get you on the show. Because me and you think we thinking similarly, bro. We we getting the gears turning. Come on. So you told me that you had some questions for me, bro. That's that's yeah. what I'm waiting on. All right. So my first question is, give me. I want to see how I want to order these questions. All right. Your top three best moments at Penn State. And I'll give you my top three. Wow. You know we could do this all night, bro. This is this is nothing. Wow. We could do this okay. all night. Best three moments at Penn State. Number one, I think, has to be senior night, my fifth year. That buzzer beater that Cam Winter hit against Maryland. Fire. I think I had zero points at the half. Mm -hmm. Ended the game with 11, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it was like timely 11. Like, yeah. it was a very, very timely a big 11. 11. It felt like yeah. 20. You know what I'm loud. Like, real loud. <laughs> um, and, like, I cried before the game because, like, I just got overwhelmed with so much emotion. Yeah. And it almost, like, messed me up yeah. through the first half. I'm like, it's, I'm pressing too much. I'm trying too hard. Um, and then second half come around, and we all kind of look at each other like, yo, let's just go. Ooh. Like, yeah. it's at this point, it's it's either win or go home. Like, right. Because if we didn't win that game, we were not going to the tournament. Mm. So, like, we had to. Yeah. And that game meant so much. Like, Maryland yeah. was, like, almost a two seed. Yeah. And they dropped to, like, a seven or an yeah. eight or something yeah. like that. So, we, like, we've been here before. We the mm -hmm. oldest team in the country. Mm-hmm. Why are we pressing? Why? Are we, like, let's just who? So, it, it, everything just it just started getting crispier and defense started getting better. I will say Maryland that year was tough, man. They they just kept kept the lead at eight, and then 10. it was like eight to ten that whole second half until like two minutes left. We like, bro, we coming in the huddle. We like, dog, I, these they, they not going nowhere, bro. Like. We, we hit two threes, and we thinking we back in the game. We look up, we still down ten. I'm like, yeah. bro, yeah. So that's that's probably number one. Number two, I, I hit a buzzer or a game winner against uh, Rutgers at home. You hit two game winners. Oh, oh I hit a couple of game winners. I got oh, a couple my fault, of my fault, my fault, my fault, play, my fault. <laughs> Yeah, I got you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I got the record or nothing, yeah, but I, I got a for him, though. I'll, I'll put that into my belt. All right, all right, all right, man. All right. I hit a game winner against Rutgers at the crib. Uh -huh. uh, Lamar Stevens had a very underwhelming second half. Okay. He was pressing, trying to get to the all-time scoring record. Yeah, and shout out to Lamar. That was, that's a, that's a, a, a uh, Cut your season short, your last season short. In my in my mind, you know what I mean. He, he, he all time. He number one. And, 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 you know, scoring in my mind. Shout out Lamar. Can't take it from him. Yeah, in my opinion, Lamar. that's just me. Yeah, that's just me. Yeah. Uh, but you know, I think I had a great first half. Like mm -hmm. I didn't score though. 
Like, mm-hmm. I think I had maybe five points. Mm-hmm. I had like six or seven assists in the first half, though. Like, mm-hmm. I was I was on the ball oh, screen. Oh, he was balling. Yeah, they like, dang, I didn't know Miles could come off the ball screen. I'm throwing yeah. live to Big Fella, yeah. Jamari. Yeah. They're like, where was this at all year? I'm like, hey, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Relax. yeah. I got that. <laughs> I had this point, too. Right. Yeah. But I hit that game winner. Then me and Lamar, we kind of guarded the last play, got the stop. That was uh, that was big time. Champs, champs downtown after that game named a, a drink after me called the called the Dread Bomb. Oh, I had it. I had it. Big time. I I was, it. it was because of that game. Okay. I was like, all right. I you had know it. Okay. Shout out champs. Shout out champs. Shout out champs. Shout out champs. And then last one, I would say. Man, uh, probably the NCAA tournament game. Like, I, I, I was waiting on it. Yeah, that Texas A&M game was a yeah, lot. Yeah, I was bro. waiting on it. I was waiting. That was, that was big time, bro. Okay. Like, and it, it wasn't even my night. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I went two for two. Yeah. I felt great. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, we won by twenty. I'm cool. Yeah. But. Watching that display yeah. of it was art. It was beautiful. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm like, yo, this is great basketball. Yeah. And they not changing how they guarding us. And they right. gonna keep guarding us like this. Right. It was it got to the point where we thinking, are they just hoping that we miss? Because we right. not missing no time soon. <laughs> right. Right. So it's probably that Texas A and M game for sure. Damn, that's good. I like I like I like those three. My th- I'm gonna say three, two, one. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go the other way. Okay. So, uh, number three would be uh, number three. I'm gonna have to say Mississippi State uh, in the Final Four of the yeah, NIT. Right. That might have been, bro. That might have been the craziest like offensive game. We played the whole year, like we Bro, couldn't I watched, miss. I watched that game in the airport. I was on mm-hmm. the way to a three point contest in San Antonio, mm-hmm. and I'm like rushing through the airport trying to find the nearest TV. I'm like, "Damn, yeah. it's on! We gotta go! We gotta go!" Yeah, and yeah, that was that was crazy. Yeah. That was insane, and like, that. Oh, that was the game I broke the record too. Yep, that was the game I broke the record, and it was like. The way that I even got it, bro, was like through through some hustle plays. Like Tone dove on the floor, tipped it to Jamari. Jamari dove on the floor, tipped it to Mar. Mar dribbled it down. I'm wide open on the wing. I was just I was just in the right spot at the right time, bro. Wide open three, finished it. But uh, I needed. I, I remember uh, the game the game before that we played Marquette. At Marquette, and uh, they were saying uh, I needed eleven. I'm like, shit, I'm gonna get this eleven tonight. (laughs) (laughs) Pause, pause. Who goes out as a college basketball player? I mean, how many threes I need? Eleven. All right, fuck it. Let's go get it tonight. Like who says that? (laughs) <laughs> well, I didn't even know though. Like they told me, they told me Nas. Shout out Nas Bostic, my guy. Nas um, told me like, yo, they said you only you need eleven threes to, to uh, break the record. You might as well get it tonight. I'm like, why not? I'm gonna try and get it tonight. So I hit five because. It wasn't that type of game. It was a like high, high intense game. I started out on fire though, but then like, Mar Mar had thirty that game. Yep. So I'm like, go ahead, right. go ahead. I, we gotta go to New York. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna, I, I ain't gonna get in your way. But if they leave you, kick it over here. I'll get, I'll get you an assist all day long. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, that was Mar game. But the next game, um, I, I hit, I, I got the record. I hit the six threes, got the record, and um, I had four, four in the first half, two in the second half, and uh, we wound up, you know, going on like a thirty to two run. 
uh, in the first half, and it was just bombs away. So that would be my number three awesome game um, to go to the championship. My number two is so many moments, bro, that, like, I'm leaving off. I got one in my head that I'm waiting on to see if you got. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, moments, right? Like, not games, moments. Yeah, moments, moments. Uh, all right, I'm going to make it easy. I'm going to just do the easy one. The number, the number two is down... One, Madison Square Garden, um, Ohio State. We uh, we already had beat them. <laughs> we already yeah. had beat them twice, right? We beat yeah. them twice. Um, we we beat them. Tone 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 hit the uh, game winner off the glass at Ohio State. Now y'all bombed him at the I career. remember Jay Sean Tate talking trash um, in the media saying um, that was a fluke. They not better than us. I can't wait till we play them again. Um, so they came to us. We knew it was going to be a dog fight, or we thought it was going to be a dog fight at our career. We no, wow. bombed them. Right. So we like all right. We playing them. They said, "Yo, y'all need to get to the final four in the in the Big Ten. Y'all, we got to get to the final four. I think we was a six. I think we was a six seed. They normally take seven teams. They only took four this year. They robbed us. But we was a six seed. Uh, so they say, yo, y'all got to get to the final four to win, to uh, go to the tournament. All right, bet. We beat Northwestern first game. We had a bye. So we beat Northwestern first game around. Beat them. They was good. So they had Scotty Lindsey, Vic Law, Brian McIntosh. Like, they was good. They was tough. Um, yeah, too, right? Derek Parton? De- yup. Derek Parton. It was tough. He was good. Yep. Um, beat them. They gave us a fight, though. Um, then we played Ohio State the next night. Um, I'm t- we had the we had the, the the nightcap. You know, the whole arena is sold out, bro. It's sold out. Yeah. Um, Ohio State, Penn State rivalry. You know, one of the biggest rivalries in in college sports. Um, and like I said. Back and forth game. They throw a punch. We throw a punch. It come down literally to the last possession. Uh, we down one. We need to stop. Right now, for all of you guys who don't know Josh Reeves, Josh Reeves is one of the most talented ball hawks I've ever played with. Right, um, but you got to you got to remember, like playing with Josh Reeves. You got to know that he does what he wants, right? So, um, before the play in the huddle, we need to stop, by the way. We, they score, it's over. We, we lose. We go home, no tournament, no NIT, no nothing. So, um, I'm guarding, I forget who I was guarding. I want to say Cam Williams um, from Ohio State. I'm guarding Cam. He come down. They got the ball on the sideline. They come down. Um, I want to say it's about, it's about 20 Two seconds, let's say. Let's guess and say it's about that much time. He go down and down screen for uh, Kata Bates, the MVP of the league. In the huddle, PC says, yo, we 50. For all of you guys who don't know what 50 is, 50 is hat on a hat. You know what I mean? Stay on your man. Guard your yard. Right? Josh, Switch. Now mind you, I was already I was already expecting it though, cause it's Josh. So I'm already expecting like, all right. Now it's me and Kata, right? They pass it in. It's me and Kata. Shout out Kata at the top of the uh, key for game. So um, one of my old heads, John Linehan, who uh, who now is assistant coach at St. Joe's. I used to work out with John. He um, when I was younger, you know, he he was um, he's the all time leader in NCAA and steals, ever. Okay. Uh, so he taught me this trick, right? So when you want like a, a, a taller guy and you need you want to get the steal, cut him off. And if they show you the ball, if they try to spin and they show you the ball, you got to get it. You got to reach for it and get it. So I don't know why, but like in that moment, that came to my head, bro. And yeah. we got this man, him, one-on-one, no help. Top of the key. 
and um, he went left. He went left. I knew he was going to go left. I knew he was, you know, strong going left. So I'm like, all right, he's going to go left first. So I'm going to jump to this left side. And if he go if he go right and I jump left, you got me. You scored it. You earned that. He, 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 um, he went left. I cut him off, slide, slide, cut him off. He tried to spin. He forgot something. Mm. <laughs> I got the ball, bro. I got the ball. I knocked the ball out of his hand. I dove on it. And, you know, the rest is history. Tone yeah. come down. Um, he, yeah, he hit JR on the, on the Sonic. Um, and it was like like how, how, how a drill would be. You know what I mean? It was like picture perfect. And uh, we won. We won the game. That was that was pro- I mean that's probably the biggest play of my career, no doubt mm-hmm. about it. Because everything was on the line. The circumstances was so the, st- the stakes were high, the highest. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, I was able to deliver for my team. And obviously, you know that the, the championship was is, is the number one. I gotta I gotta respect that. Um, yeah. Incredible night. Um, um, I mean, you know, this is my last college game. Uh, not only that, but it's for everything. You know, it's right. only two teams that could walk away. You know, with something, and it was it happened to just be us and Nova at the end. But you know, it. I don't know. I know how you know how your college, your last college game is, bro. It's like you know, the last thing, you, the last thing you want to do is lose. But you know, you want to go out on the right foot. You know what I'm saying? And uh, shout out to uh, you know my guys that's a part of that team. Uh, we bonded for life. We family. Um, no matter what, you know, life may throw at us or what we may go through, you know, we still bonded through our, you know, experiences that we had together at Penn State. And, you know, a lot of fruit has came from that, you know what I mean, like y'all. So, you know, I was just glad to be a part of it. Um, it was an unbelievable experience I had. Um, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Um, I learned so many things, so many great things up there. Um, I mean... We we turned that place around, bro. You know what I mean, and and see and to see where it is now. Like I went up there for the uh, TBT practice, and um, I saw the locker room, I saw the training room, I saw like you know the the the, uh, practice facility. They got a little press a button and go into the practice. Like come, I'm like what? What's going on? You know what I'm saying, bro? It was like insane to me, bro, because that was like. You know, like I always wanted that when I played there. I'm like, yo, you know, I'm, I look at the other teams, you know, stuff, and I'm like, man, I wish I had that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but they got it now, bro. And I was just so happy and proud that you know they were able to turn that school, that basketball program, into you know something that's respectable, bro. And I think right now, um, shout out Coach Rhodes. Right now, they um they 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 uh doing what they supposed to do, man. They rumbling. You know what I mean? And that's all anybody can ask as far as, like, you know, a Penn State alumni, Penn State fan. Them, them guys going out there and they playing hard. They playing a, you know, a gritty brand of basketball. And that's what we did. So I respect it, and I respect what they got going on. Shout out Coach Rose and the uh, current PSU basketball team. Yeah, we're going to get Coach Rose on here. We're going to get him to talk about Got to. Because, I, I mean, I don't think any coach that I played for or that you played for had to deal with Ten, trying to go get ten guys in the off season in sixty days. That's yeah, that's crazy. Heard of, bro? Yeah, yeah. Like, not just ten any guys. They got ten bona fide hoopers. Yeah, and 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 and, and you know, I know I ain't supposed to say this, but they could have locked us up for what we did to them boys that day. We oh, shouldn't, even, we, oh shouldn't even, we shouldn't even be on here talking right now. Not even a little bit. Okay, TBT practice. Listen, there was a lot of guns out there that day, boy. Woo. Listen, a whole lot of, mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, so, so we're going to leave it at that. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's, it, that's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. We're going to leave it at that. But, yeah, yeah them, them boys doing their thing, man. They doing their thing, man. Oh, what you got? What else you got for me? Um, all right. So we did our moments. Um, oh, okay. Who is? Oh, you? No, you already answered that. Um, 
Oh, here we go. Who is what's your favorite uh, arena to play in besides the BJC? Favorite arena to play in? Yeah. I go back and forth with this one all the time. Like John, I talked about this one with John on my John episode. Uh-huh. It's tough because it depends on what you mean by favorite. Like most fun and you know most enjoy. Like Breslin for me, like it was home. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's, that's what I, I was. I could have guessed that. Yeah, it's home. So like, I, I feel like going there. I I had like sixty people. That's like that's like you going to the palestra. Like, it had, like, 60 people in there. I, I left that out because it's so many different moments, bro. Like, I scored my 1,000 point in the palestra. Wow. That's oh, what I, I'm I, scored, I scored my 1,000 point at Michigan. See? Like, yeah. like you yeah. left that out. Yeah. But, like, that's yeah. a big thing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, it's so many moments, man. We'd be Like I said, we could be here all night. All night. But, uh... Oh. Yeah, so um, probably Breslin yeah. and, and, and Mackie. Mackie's tough, man. Okay, okay. I love playing at Mackie. Because, like, the, the one time we did win there, mm-hmm. to hear that crowd go silent, yeah. was the, that was the best feeling yeah. in the world. Yeah. In the world. Yeah. You, like, you hit a three. That was me and Seth set the single game record. Mm. Well, the whole team did. Mm-hmm. But me, me and Seth set the single game record for most threes mm-hmm. in the game that game. Mm-hmm. And my, me and me and Seth broke it again mm-hmm. last past year with Shrewsbury. But mm-hmm. when we first did it, man, we were up. Spike eye, yeah. Yeah. Spike eye. Yeah. Like yeah. 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 But that was. Yeah. Let me tell you. Let me say one thing though, right quick. What people don't understand is, bro, and the reason why I, 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 what you did just brought that up, like, our practices was incredible, bro. Like, some of the best basketball was played, bro, in practice, bro. Like, like, bro, I seen some, I seen, a, I seen some things, bro. I seen some like some things. I'm sure you did too. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, like I seen some like art, like that's one thing too. That's why I get in practice now because it's like that's some of the best hoops, bro. Ain't no ain't well, it is cameras, but no fans. You know what I mean? It's like it's us in here and we getting after it, bro. So uh, that's one thing I miss. I think about just uh, being a part of a team and uh, competing in practice. Every day, the games is the games, man. You only get thirty plus of them, you know what I mean. But you get eighty practices, right? You know what I mean. So, uh, yeah, that when you said uh, you and Seth going back and forth from practice, like I mean, in the game, that just brought back like how practice was for us. It was like every day was like you don't know what's going to happen today, right? Yeah, <laughs> like anything could happen. You know Somebody I mean? had a like, bad day. Like, yeah. real, realistically, when when uh, when Lamar is really Lamar, he mad. Who's stopping Lamar from doing? There's nothing what you could do. There's nothing Who's, you like, can do. Realistically, like if he that, that, that man gets mad yeah. or he, he having a bad day, he got a a bad grade on a test or his girlfriend mad at him or something, whatever. Like, what you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> Bro, I got a funny practice story for you. You want me to tell you a funny practice story? Let's do it. All right. Bro, one day, right? Mike, like, yo. Mike Watkins. Shout out Mike, big fella. Mike, Mike. He like, yo, I'm dunking everything today. I'm like, all right, big fella. You know what I mean? Like, that's normal for you to say. You know what I mean? Bro, when I say he dunked, Everything that day I'm talking about bro He dunked Every drill Every drill Every time he got the ball Every drill Dunk Boom Oh 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 I didn't tell you this part either With a with a 20 pound weight wait, wait, that, that I've heard that story before <laughs> I've heard that one Everybody like Mike was hooping With a weight vest on Killing I'm like what you mean He said a 20 pound Weight vest Under his jersey 
Yes. Dunking everything. Yes. Trying to break the rim every time he dunked the ball. Every play down, bro. When we start <laughs> playing, when we start playing, I'm talking about in the drills, he dunked everything. I'm like, okay. You know what I mean? You know, ain't nobody down there. You in the drills. Right. Well, dunk it. Bro, right. when we start hooping, he dunked. Everything, bro. <laughs> Every offensive rebound. You know, Michael offensive rebound him. Every offensive rebound, bro, he dunked it. Ah! I'm like, he looked like Shaq, bro. <laughs> Seriously, bro. I'm like, yeah. yo, he ready. Like, he, he, he yes, yeah, send him, send him to the league now. He ready. Yeah. That's yeah. why I was like, when I, when I talk about that team, bro, it's like, bro, we had that Mike. Right, y'all had the pre pre knee mic. Yes. Yeah. That kid, that that kid he was, was, a top, he was a top three or four. He was a top three or four big in the league at that point. Bro, he led the country in blocks, led the yeah. country in field goal percentage, led the country in dunks. Yeah. Top two yeah. in rebounding. Twenty something double doubles, bro. Like, bro, mm. Mike was that guy. Like, yeah. they don't. Like they don't talk about big fella the way that they should. Okay. Yeah, Mike. Like, like Mike is Mike. Mike is incredible, bro. <laughs> like for real. Like for real. For real. For real. Like Mike hey, is that guy. You, you preaching to the choir right now. <laughs> I, know. I know. Oh, okay. I see, I see okay. the remote. Oh, all right. Yeah. Like I, I got it because they don't, they don't give him his flowers enough, bro. Like they talk about a lot of like they talk about me. They talk about TC. They talk about Mar. They give Jamari and John they flowers. They give John they flowers. But you rarely hear people talk about the big fella. And all you hear is like the crazy stories. Like, man, Mike was that guy. Mike was the man. I seen I seen him do some incredible things. Shout out to big fella, man. He one of the best big men I ever played with. Probably, I mean, top two, three best teammates I had. Like, we still close to this day. Um... That's what I'm saying, man. Like, we had we had a great team, Miles. I'm gonna tell you. Yeah. We had we we had a mob. We had a whip no for sure. No doubt. Um, I think I got a couple of questions for you. This is huh. quick answer. Like, this is don't can't think too much. You just gotta rip them off. Come on. All right. I need this or that. Okay. Right. Would you rather this or that? All right. Game winning three. Game winning steal. I had both. Let me see. Which one would I rather have? Well, I got to go with the steal because that's my number. That's my number one play in my career. But okay. but the game winning three versus Temple. That was it. That, ah. Nah, I'm gonna go with the steal. Still. Okay. I was at that game too. That was big time. Mm-hmm. Uh, game winning free throw. Or game winning block. Ooh, block. Okay, Shep out here trying to pretend like you play some defense or something. Bro, like, like <laughs> imagine you getting the game with like imagine you seen an Anthony Edwards block. Oh my god, game winning oh. block. That's incredible, bro. Game winning yeah. free throws. Like, all right, you won. Game yeah. winning block. No sir, right, you you could have won. You could have won this game. Not today though. I wish I could do some stuff like that. Like, come on now. Now, <laughs> this is with this or that. All right. If you could not have gone to Penn State, but you had to go to another Big Ten school, okay? So that's the parameters. But so we got this or that. You got Michigan or Michigan State. All right, I got a question first before I answer. Is it Beeline or Howard? At Beeline. Michigan? When you were playing, when you were playing, it Michigan was Beeline. State. You don't went to Izzo at Michigan State. Absolutely. Okay. Iowa or Nebraska? <laughs> Iowa. Shout out Fran McCaffrey. Indiana or Ohio State? Indiana. Yeah, it, I already knew the answer to that one. Yeah. <laughs> now, this one's going to strike home a little bit more for you. All right. You talk to me. You 50 50. You, you talked to me about how proximity was important to you. 
Rutgers or Maryland? Let me tell you something real quick. I love Maryland. <laughs> Bro, I'm not even talking about the school, though. I just yeah. love Maryland. Yeah. Like, I yeah. love Maryland, bro. I do. Yeah. Like, I would move to Maryland, and I would live in Maryland. Yeah. Like, the culture down there, the people down there, the the, the monuments. Like, like you got so much history down there. I love Maryland. Maryland all day long. Shout out to DMV, baby. All day long. And then, I, I, those, are the, those are the only ones I had for you. Um, if you had any more last-minute ones, let me know. No. Nah. But... I thought this was good, bro. I love this. Oh my god! This you got to bring good. me back on here, bro. Oh. You got to let you got to bring me back on here, and and I ask you the questions. Let's do I'll it. I prepare the questions, then I ask you the questions. I'm with whatever. You All know right. what I'm saying? Like, we got to plan it. We had a great time. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I've been asking. I asked who dash. I asked mm-hmm. cat. Mm-hmm. I didn't talk to PC. Mm-hmm. You the last person I talked. I ain't got no gear yet, bro. Oh, oh, I got you, bro. Deal? I got you. That's nothing. Like, I, what I gotta do? You don't, to gotta do nothing. you don't have to do nothing. I got you. I got you. All right, All right man. Like, yeah. come on. You ain't gotta worry about that. I got yeah. you. I Shit. Got you. I just want a t-shirt. Something. I got you. I got you with some real stuff. All right. All right. That's that's because you my guy. You my way. Yeah. So I appreciate that. Thank you, man. Sure. Thank you so much for coming on. To everybody out there. Shep really my that's my old head right here. Like no, that's for it means, real. It means a lot to me that, you know, Shep will come on to the show and and just show love like this. So this is big. Mm, I, 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 I wanna say thank you for having me, bro. Um I know you got a great platform that you building. Um I just wanted to come on here and be uh, authentic and give you a good episode, bro. So something for you to build on. Like I said, I'm coming back on here and I'm asking the questions. Let's do it. <laughs> As as only I could. <laughs> Let's do it, man. Hey, <laughs> this is the latest episode of the Heat Check. See y'all next week. Yes, sir. Peace. What's up, everybody? Hope you enjoyed this episode of the Heat Check. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so we can continue to have big time guests and create great content for you guys. And if you haven't yet, check us out on social media in the links below. Really appreciate you guys' support. We'll see you next week.